Hey guys, Emery99 here and welcome to the second episode of Tour de Abandon series. If you've not checked the first episode, be sure to do so as we had two wild stages in Rwanda which resulted in many many crashes and even some high profile abandons with Grand Tour wins. Now though, it's time to play stage 3 out of 21, Rubavu to Karongi, again in Rwanda, this time classified as a hill stage but may be a good opportunity for the sprinters to also fight for the stage win. Stage 3 is underway and after crashing 6 times in the first episode, Gregor Mühlberger is trying to attack the breakaway and join um, Gorka Izagire. For us, we're just going to try to uh, protect Mr. Pierre Latour and hope he gets to the finish line. But yeah, quite a lot of attacks, so I, I guess this stage might go to the breakaway if a breakaway of 10 to 15 riders do escape. Because as you can see, oh, we have, have, have a crash. We have a crash and it's Remka Evenepoel's down. The yellow jersey is down. That means Pogacar is down as well. There he is. Tade Pogacar is down, but nothing happening. Oh, there's a crash here as well. So just the first few kilometers, Van der Poel is down here, uh, let's obviously take top 10 and Alps and teammates, Caleb Ewan is still down, let's see if he's able to continue, yes he is able to continue, but yeah the, the race has started pretty actively so we've got two pelotons at the moment, 34 riders in front and as we see another crash with this time Taco van der Horn is down and Garrett Thomas is down here. Gunner is also down. Pogachar escapes. That is big. In this crash, Pogachar escapes the crash. And I think we have Oliver Legac out. And we've have another crash just in front. This is this is insane. Legac is out. Remco Evenepoel is out. Anthony Perez is out. Caleb Ewan, despite two crashes, do continue. And we've started the race with three withdrawals. And look at the time gaps already. Oh, we have a crash in the peloton. And Filippo Ganna, Enric Mas is down. And yeah, a lot of more people crashing as we come to this turn. Let's see if we've got any abandons here. 71 kilometers to go. Now the downhill portion is going to start, which expectedly going to be more dangerous but no abandons this time we passed the KOM point so let's do a review of that it Gorka is a gear of Borgil and Lutsenko getting points with Genie getting 20 points for the green jersey for the race we have a peloton of 64 controlled by Jumbo Visma Dylan turns trying to attack again Mühlberger Costa Bargil and Lutsenko a very strong breakaway uh, at the front and Warren Borgil is 19th in GC with four minutes to Pogachar. And we have a crash and Tade Pogachar is down. Tade Pogachar is down with Chavez. Pogachar gets back up though, second crash of the day for him. Everyone does get back up, but it's going to be a very difficult day for him as we have another crash. In this corner, Buchmann and Halle from Bora team are down. Yeah. More crashes at the back at the same corner. We've got Ull is down, but no abandons. Four riders for Quickstep. Um, currently at A9 with Jakobsen and his flat domestiques. Stefan Kung is also behind. Yeah, last 60 kilometers to go. Matthew Burgador from our team has launched an attack to try to launch the four guys in the front. As we have this period of non-crashes, I would like to thank the community members who helped me build this tour, uh, actually selecting the stages uh, for this tour. I think it was Ben Yonk, if I'm not mistaken, who have uh, actually said, Emre, look at this stage in Rwanda. And I said, okay, that's a great idea, so why shall we not do the Grand Depart in Rwanda and it turned out to be very very successful so thank you for your ideas 
And now let's see how this race will end up. Oh, there's a crash. I think Askren was the first one down. Carapaz here, Philipson, who was doing so well to keep up with the pace. And would have been a nice stage victory for him, but he's down. Let's see how many abandons we are going to have. I think I saw a Movistar rider and Askren and Aramburu are out of the tour in the downhill. And now Philipsen has a very tough job to get back to the peloton. There he is, Jasper Philipsen. He is currently two minutes behind the pack. We have a crash behind. Uh, Skelmos is down, and it's a big one, actually. Eric Mas Fuglsang, um, Train Rodriguez, I mean, Jakob Fuglsang. I have to mention him as well in the first edition of Tour de Abandon. He had led the classification for 10 days, I suppose. But he's not taking it easy as we had abandon of Matthias Skelmose. Danish talent is out of the tour and Van der Poel is again not having it easy at the moment. Last 12 kilometers and there's an attack by Yates as I saw another fall including Jasper Philipsen behind as Yates tries to go for the stage win. Let's see how big the impact in is in this crash. I uh, think they're all fine. Jakobsen is still down, but I think he'll be fine. Meanwhile, at the front, the attacks have now stopped. As Chris Froome has crashed behind. The four-man at the breakaway, again, going really strong. Voren Bargil launches an attack with eight kilometers to go. Lutsenko, Mulberger, Costa currently relaying nicely. And from the peloton, Primoz Roglic now launches an attack. We have L Latour in the group and we've got a decent sprint stat. So I'll be keeping my eye on the sprint. Maybe get a top five. Um, Roglic's attack is very strong. Yates and Pogacar trying to counter it. Adam Yates working really well for his teammate at the moment. Only 20 man in this group as we go through a very, very tough section of downhill portion. Corners everywhere. Matteo Burgodo also back in this group, so he's doing a good job so far as well. Now, a small uphill section, and I think I have to also up my tempo. 1.7k to go. It seems like the breakaway is not going to be caught. Vorad Bargil looks to be going for the stage win in another French team and another French rider to maybe take the stage. But now here comes Costa. Here comes Mühlberger. Is he going to be caught on the line? Yes, 100 meters to go, gets caught on the line, and it's going to be Rui Costa who wins the stage, and for the peloton of 19 riders, Tadej Pogacar again uh, shows a strong outing to protect his yellow jersey. He got into early trouble, but maintained his position in the main bunch. Everyone's made it through the time limit safely, but it was Rui Costa but today's winner from the breakaway getting a 54 second advantage on Tadej Pogacar, Primoz Roglic, Wout van Aert and so on. This group of 19 is then followed by chasers who've lost many minutes on today's short stage. Now I'm going to scroll down to see how many abandons we had today and the number is just 7. But it leaves us with only 127 riders who will be making the trip to Netherlands for the next stage. Big names among the abandons today, Kasper Askren, Remco Evenepoel and Matthias Skjelmose. And now for general classification, we only now have three riders who've been at the peloton for three stages in a row. Tadej Pogacar, Geraint Thomas and Felix Gall. Aggressive riding by Mühlberger takes him up to 138 points today and he keeps his green For KOM it is again a tie between Torstein Train and Pierre Latour but unfortunately the jersey still stays in the Norwegian. And for the white jersey again we will have a battle between Tadej Pogacar and Felix Gall. As for the team standings Ineos Grenadiers is now leading classification 5 minutes ahead of Jumbo Visma.
Stage 4 has started here in Famberg Circuit. As you can see from this map, we've got this uh, loop of around 6 kilometers that will be ridden maybe almost 20-25 times. But before we get into the action, just let's look at the teams. Alps and Deconic has a full team. And with Ineos, they're the only ones to do have so. And our team only have three riders left, which is the least out of any team. Uh, which is very surprising to me. And we've been very unlucky so far this race. As we've got attacks already starting. Thermerke. Ludwigson, Amador and Enkorn going for the stage. And let's see if a sprinter can finally win in this tour here in Vamberg. Oh, first crash of the day and it's a huge one. Favourites are involved. I, I see six riders in the top ten have been involved in this crash, including Pogacar. Um, he's continuing, but Dylan van Bale says goodbye to the tour. First abandon of the day. Um, he is... I mean, he's going to be one of the favourites for this stage and also for the upcoming stages. Primoz Roglic now trying to get back into the group. Meanwhile, Pogacar are relying on Ineos to get them back. Oh, another crash at the back. And this time it's few riders involved, including Fred Wright, Tij Benut, and Axel Zang. Ben Turner is left behind and there's another crash in the peloton. Just as we are thinking, Matthew van der Poel and Alaphilippe is down. Put down Voren Bargill. Yellow jerseys not involved in that one. Trying to get the good angle. Matthias Louvel has gone down. And currently, riders everywhere at the moment. Every part of the circuit, there is a group at the moment. No abandons here, though. Breakaway of seven are currently leading the race and things have now settled down a bit as we say there is a crash behind C Caleb Ewan Froome and Damar is involved But the peloton's pace as you can see is not high at at all As we say goodbye to Caleb Ewan Today peloton is going smoothly and all the GC riders are back at the front Oh, crash! I've just missed it. And it's happened right in front of me as well. Just taking a sip of my water. And this has got to be the arguably the biggest crash in this year's Tour de Abandon. About 76 riders caught in there. And let's see. Izagire and Halle seems to be the ones that are abandoning at the moment. Oh, crash again. Just as I sped up, I'm not seem to be getting lucky. With these crashes at all but nearly all GC riders are down and Tadej Pogacar crashed again. Are we going to see any abandons though? Jean Martin, he's abandoning. Deli and De Wolf are also down. Oh this time I was a bit more careful and I just saw the crash as it was happening. Roglic, Bardet, Gal, Yates and Benal are down. It's a very dangerous downhill just after the finish line. And let's see who will be abandoning here. It's going to be Niels Ekhoff. No, he's back up as well. Dylan turns. He's back up as well. So no abandons in this crash. Plenty of GC riders left behind. Uh, at this current pace, they are able to make it back all the time. But when a crash happens, like with 30 kilometers to go, 40 kilometers to go, it's not going to be easy. So I'm really looking forward to who will be losing time in the GC today. Oh, crash behind, and it is at the back of the peloton. Tom Pitcock is down. Tom Pitcock is down in this crash. Let's see if anyone's involved heavily. And Simon Geschke is abandoning the tour after the crash with 71 kilometers to go. Oh, big crash again. Again, at the back of the peloton, so not many GC riders involved, but it's a huge one with about 25-30 riders involved. Many more actually passing by, and Rui Costa, stage winner of last stage, is out with Mike Tonison. 
Um, Jon Smith seems to be out as well, so Wont is going to lose two riders at the same crash. And Federal from Astana is our fourth abandoned from this crash. Up for the Pelton, four riders involved this time. And more coming behind. They can't stop, as we see Peloton again going from slow pace. 54 riders in it now, but look at this carnage at the moment. Most of the riders that are passing by is also crashing, which makes Tour de Abandon such a dangerous race. Christopher Julianson is out from this crash. Also, Mikel Bieg is out. Will crash behind. Kung is down. But there seems to be a lack of determination in front of the peloton, which means this race is going to be won by the breakaway. And let's look at the breakaway at the moment. Andre Amador, Vermeerke, Simmons, Abrahamson, Kalmajan, and Hugo Uhl. Who's going to win this Wamberg circuit as we have a big crash way behind of 10 riders? Now, two and a half kilometers to go, and the breaker is going to win the stage. But who will win it? Kevin Vermeke has launched an attack with 10 kilometers to go and currently is in front. Abrahamson, Simmons, Hood, Amador, and Kalmajan currently following them. Last kilometer, can Vermeke hold his lead? Now it's, it's time for the sprint up the Farmberg for the final time today. Kevin Vermeke looking strong, but now Quinn Simmons launches an attack from the right, and Quinn Simmons is going to win the race. But how big it is going to be? There is a crash at the peloton. With just four kilometers to go, Pogacar, Roglic, Yates, Gal is down. Tade Pogacar is underway. Where is the rest of the peloton? The rest of the peloton are here, and Bardet seems to be the one that will gain for it at the moment. Boren Bargil also in this group, and Vanart is now going for an attack to maybe crawl some time gaps back. This has been a carnage ending at the moment and the GC group with Pogachar and Yates currently trying to sprint to limit the losses. Let's look here and Vert Van Aert passes with 6 minutes um, behind the breakaway. What about the peloton of 55 mainly involved and there's another crash. There's a huge cast. Seb Kos was the one that's first gone down and has brought down Roglic, Van Aert and Yates with it as well. As we see the yellow jersey past the finish line, but what's the impact here? Have we got any abandons? Sepp Kuss is out, so is Tij Benut. Massive blow for Jumbo Visma. And wow, we really have to look at the results screen after the stage has concluded because there's been some massive GC shakeups for sure. Quid Simmons wins the stage here in the Van Berg circuit. And Wout van Aert was the first one from the peloton to finish with a time deficit of 5 minutes 53. So at 6 minutes 24 we had the first group of riders that come in include Enric Mas, Carapaz, Landa, Bargil and Bardet. At 7 minutes 27 we had Tadej Pogacar come in with Geraint Thomas and Felix Gall. And meanwhile the group of Roglic came 9 minutes 30 at the same time as Jasper Philipsen. But now saving the best for last, Chris Froome being the last finisher with 20 minutes behind. But how many abandons we had today? 17 abandons from this Van Berg circuit stage. I have not seen that coming. And uh, that is a huge amount of riders saying goodbye to the tour after four stages. Just 110 left now. But that stage is now going to round up the second episode of Tour de Abandoned. Be sure to like and leave a comment if you've enjoyed it so far. And what happened today, we've got Rui Costa and Quinn Simmons as the stage winners. However, the classifications have not changed. Tade Pogacar is leading after four stages. Can someone beat him? Well, tune in to find out for episode three. Do not forget to subscribe and see you soon.